Hi everyone, this is your math guru. Today we're going to learn how to find the cube root of a number using prime factorization. Please don't forget to subscribe below for more easy to understand math concepts. A cube root is a number which when multiplied by itself three times produces the original value. The symbol is your root with a three. For example, if you had to find the cube root of 8, we know that 2 times 2 times 2, like we said, we're multiplying the number 3 times, will give us 8. So therefore, the cube root of 8 is 2. So if we have 2 and 8, if you're going from 2 to 8, to get to 2 to 8, you'll find the cube of 2, that is 2 times 2 times 2 will give us 8 and if we find the cube root of 8, that's 8 with our cube root, we are going to have 2. Let's take a look at the following examples, checking out the steps to take while using prime factorization to find the cube root of a number. If we had to find the cube root of 64, the first step to take is to factorize into prime factors. Two, we make groups of three similar factors, and then we take out one factor from each group and find the product. Finding the prime factorization of 64, we are going to be using prime numbers, which are also prime factors of 64. Example of prime numbers are, we have a two, we have three, five, seven, and so on. But because 64 is an even number, we are going to start dividing by 2. 64 divided by 2, we have 32. We are going to use 2 again because 32 is an even number. 32 divided by 2, we give us 16. Another even number, we are dividing by 2 again. 2 in 16, we have 8. 8 divided by 2 again, we have 4. That's another even number. We divide by 2 to have 2 and then 2 in 2 is 1. Thus, the prime factorization of 64 is 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. Now to find the cube root of 64, let's write it out again. 64, we write our prime factorization under the root. We have 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, and 2. The next step says we have to make groups of three similar factors. So we are going to be grouping in threes. We have 1, 2, 3. That's a group. We have another 1, 2, 3. That's another group. The next, the last step says we have to take out one factor from each group. So for the first group, we take out one factor. That's going to be 2. And we find the product with the factor we are taking out from the other group, which is another 2. Therefore, the cube root of 64 is going to give us 2 times 2, which is 4. Let's do a quick check. 4 times 4 times 4. Let's see. 4 times 4 will give us 16, and 16 times 4 will give us 64. So the cube root of 64 is 4. Let's try out another example together. In this example, we are going to be finding the cube root of 216. The first step, we are going to write 216 in prime factorization. 216, remember our prime numbers are, we have 2, we have 3, we have 5, we have 7, we have 11, etc. Because 216 is an even number, we are going to start with 2. 216 divided by 2, we are going to have 108. 108, it ends with an even number, so we can also divide by 2. We are going to have 54. That's another even number. We divide by 2 again. We are going to have 27. Now, we are not going to divide by 2 anymore because 27 is not an even number. However, we can move to the next prime factor, which is 3. 
27 divided by 3, we have 9. 9 is a multiple of 3, so we can divide again by 3. We have 3, and then we divide again by 3, we have 1. So writing 216 as prime factorization, we are going to have 2 times 2 times 2 times 3, 3 and 3. So therefore, if we want to find the cube root of 2 and 3, writing it as a factors, or prime factors rather, we have 2 times 2 times 2 times 3 times 3 times 3. The next stage says, or the next step says, make groups of three similar factors. And doing that, we are going to have 2 times 2 times 2, that's one group of 3. 3 times 3 times 3, that's another group of 3. The next stage says, or the next step says, take out one factor from each. If we take out one factor from one group, the similar factor, we are going to have 2. If multiply it with the product, we find the product rather of all the factors we are taking out. We take out another factor here, which is 3. Therefore, the cube root of 216 is going to be 2 times 3, which is 6. Let's do a quick check. 6 times 6 times 6. 6 times 6, 36. Then 36 times 6 will give us 216. Looking at this challenge question, we have A, find the cube roots of 64. And the second one says find the cube roots of 729. You can pause the video and try it out yourself. For the first one, the cube roots of 64 will give us 4, and the cube roots of 729 will give us 9. Thanks for watching. Bye.